Hi, my name is Javwei Ho, a PhD student from the Institute of Automation, Chinese Academy of Sciences. This is the presentation of our paper, Learnable Graph Matching, Incorporating Graph Partitioning with Deep Feature Learning for Multiple Object Tracking. In this paper, we mainly focus on the object association in multiple object tracking task. Like many other methods recently, we follow the tracking by detection paradigm, which includes two parts, object detection by a public detector and object association via the matching algorithm. We find some points still worth studying in the current paradigm. First, existing methods mostly ignore the intra-frame context information, which makes the tracker hard to survive in cases like severe occlusion. Second, the end-to-end -end association methods solely rely on the data-fitting power of deep neural networks, while they hardly utilize the advantage of optimization-based assignment methods. And the graph-based optimization methods mostly utilize a separate neural network to extract features, which brings the inconsistency between training and inference. So, we consider the edge in the graph to model the relationship among tracklets and intra-frame detections, respectively. Thus, we formulate MOT task as a graph matching problem between the detection graph and tracklet graph. To make the optimization end-to-end -end differentiable, we relax the original quadratic assignment problem into convex and continuous quadratic programming. Thus, the gradient can be calculated with the help of KKT conditions and implicit function theorem. We evaluate our proposed GM tracker on the MOT challenge benchmark. Our method achieved the state-of-the-art performance in terms of association metrics such as IDF1. Here, we show the difference between deep sort and our graph matching method. In deep sort, Hungarian algorithm is used to do the bipartite matching. However, in graph matching, as we model the intra-graph relationship on the edge, we formulate the second-order edge-to-edge matching cost. In the highly occluded scene, we expect a more robust matching. We demonstrate the tracking results of deep sort and our GM tracker in MOT1704 video using the public detector DPM. Comparing with deep sort, our method has fewer ID switches. Then, we describe how to formulate MOT as a tracklet to detection graph matching problem and how to relax the original QAP to a convex and continuous QP. First, we construct the detection graph. The vertex feature is the appearance feature and the edge feature is the concatenation of the vertex features. To construct tracklet graph, we average the appearance features of the tracklet as the vertex feature. The original graph matching problem can be defined as a QAP mathematically. The optimization objective is to minimize the edge-to-edge -edge cost and the vertex-to-vertex -vertex cost, corresponding to two terms in the equation. In MOT task, the edge weight is not enough to model the intra-graph relationship so we expand the formulation from the edge weights to the edge features. Via simplifying and vectorizing the second equation, we obtain the third equation. Finally, we relax the pi from a permutation matrix to a bistochastic matrix. To enhance the feature, after extracting the appearance feature of each object, we add a GCN between the detection graph and tracklet graph. The aggregation weight is the cosine similarity of the vertex features and the IOU of the bounding boxes when the video is taken by a static camera. When the camera moves, only the cosine similarity of the vertex features is considered. To make the aggregation more stable, we do message norm as deeper GCN. After cross graph GCN, the quadratic affinity matrix M and vertex affinity matrix B are calculated from the L2 normalized edge features and vertex features. Solving the relaxed quadratic programming, we obtain the matching score map. And the gradients for backpropagation can be derived from the KKT conditions with the help of the implicit function theorem. We train our model with a weighted BCE loss function. Before that, we sharpen the matching score map via a softmax function with temperature. Here are the experimental results. We ablate each component of our model on MOT17 validation set. The result shows the effectiveness of our proposed learnable graph matching method, especially on IDF1 metric. Then, we discuss some details, such as the consistency of training and inference, the intra-tracklet feature aggregation methods, and the influence of when we delete the lost tracklets, called max age. The comparison with other state-of-the-art methods also shows we have better association performance, no matter under the online setting or offline setting. Thanks for your listening.